Hi, yeah, my name is Diego uh, Roberto Bermudez. Uh, I am a senior deckhand on board the Now Trinidad here in Kingston, New York. And uh, what are some of the things that uh, our, uh, that uh, visitors can come see here on the uh, Now Trinidad? Sure thing, here on the Now Trinidad, they can come and explore four out of the five decks of the ship. Below deck in the hold, we have a museum exhibition that's available for them to explore and to read about the original voyage of the ship that sailed from 1519 to 1522. The Now Trinidad left with, with four other ships behind it, uh, with Fernand Magellan at the helm, and only one returned with 18 sailors. And how did the... How did this uh, come to be, this uh, this uh, replica here? How, how did the, the project come to be to, to build this? Well, that's the whole mission of our foundation. The, the foundation, or the Fundación Na Victoria, is, uh, its purpose is to actually build these vessels and to uh, preserve them and sail them as uh, ambassadors uh, to Spain. So our project started in 2017. It took us 14 months to build this ship, and we finished in March of 2018. Now, how challenging was it to build a, a ship like this authentically uh, you know like basically 500 years later sure you're taking a 500 year old design and you're putting it into the 21st century so a lot of it had to be modified in order for us to make this manageable and make this affordable for us to be able to do this so a 500 year old ship is not going to be as safe as it as is going to be in the 21st century so with that in mind uh it, it's a very unique design with a lot of technology that is blended between the two uh different time periods and uh, how many crew members uh, serve on here? Currently, we stand, I believe, at about uh, 12 right now. And what are, what, are, what are some of the things that you're, you're a task here as, as a senior deckhand then? Sure. As a senior deckhand, uh, I work along with the crew in order to do navigational watches. Sometimes we have to steer the ship. Sometimes we have to hoist sail. Sometimes we have to bring the yards up and down. Uh, sometimes we have to make sure that the ship is going in the right direction. Uh, there are odd jobs. Sometimes we have to cook. Uh, it all depends on, on the day to day. And what are, what's the uh, top speed of a ship like this in ideal conditions? These are not speed boats. Uh, so I want to make sure that, that people understand this is not a very fast ship. Uh, historically, these would go between four to six knots. Um, and it would go downwind very, very well. That being said, a ship like this, now that we've included motors and we include engines, uh, this can now go at speeds of about even seven to even ten knots. Steering accomplished on this uh, ship? That's a great question. It's one of my most favorite features, really, of this ship. When most people come on board, they like to think that there's, there's, there's going to be a steering wheel or a helm that's on the ship. But no, in fact, in the 16th century, what we have is a vertical tiller that runs through the quarter deck all the way down to the main, and it's called a whipstaff. The whipstaffs were, for 200 years, were used as the steering mechanisms to drive the tillers from port to starboard side to be able to pull the uh, rudder uh, from side to side and make it easy and manageable for us to be able to steer the vessels at that time.